Hello respected judges, I am Saurav Swan from the team Agrisphere 2025 and I am here presenting my projects, uh, my team's project for the problem statement uh, Quantum Secure Email Client Application. In this demonstration, we are uh, showing our project's features which are, uh, the security features are Quantum OTP or Quantum One-Time Pad uh, and Quantum Aided AES and Hybrid Post Quantum Cryptography as well as uh, Standard AES for fallback uh, in which uh, if in some case any of these three don't work, then standard AES will be used. Also, we are, uh, the project is entirely compatible and compliant with the ETSI GSQKD014 uh, uh, system. Uh, and uh, we are using a key manager emulator as per the project's guidelines. And uh, this emulator generates the quantum keys as well as distributes them across the client devices. And uh, all the quantum operations here are being simulated because we don't have an act any access to quantum hardware but it all resembles actual quantum uh, key distribution operations so it is going to be entirely compliant with all of that so let me show you how it actually works uh, here in this screen you can see there are several different uh, files so this start demo dot bat file it actually will automatically start uh, a few terminals which will launch the different different servers which will host the messaging and different different uh, applications so we can see that two servers have been started localhost uh, 6000 and localhost 5000 these two servers uh, will manage the uh, transfer of information and um, all of that encrypted data so let's test if it's actually working or not so first of all in the terminal we'll uh, launch this thing where we'll um, test the system so it is testing the qmail system uh, where the key me uh, which is key managed emulator is run, found running the message server which we just launched was found to be running and uh, a few crypto engines uh, engine tests were also performed for example the fallback aes encryption the key qkd uh, system uh, and uh, all other stuff and it was found that the qmail system was uh, running and uh, is ready for the demo so we can close this thing and uh, now we can launch two more terminals for alice and bob the two de facto characters for any quantum application so this was one terminal this is another terminal so we will launch these two terminals side by side in this terminal we will launch uh, python qmail client alice and here python qmail client bob so here you can see that it is launching where the qmail uh, is online message server is also online here for the bob we'll, uh, for bob also we will launch it Uh, it has also launched. We can see that uh, for uh, he, uh, the KME is on 5000 and the message server is on 6000. So let's start writing some message, some email. So let's first compose uh, to Bob from Alice. Uh, let's uh, subject one. Let's put that subject for this uh, case. And uh, oh, sorry, I have to do that again to bob subject will be subject one and uh, let's write some message this is the first message now uh, i have to choose one of the security modes so let's check the first security mode which is quantum otp it is encrypting the data with quantum otp and uh, it's now sending it it's being sent so let's check if it has arrived here or not so here the second option is check in box we'll click here and uh, it is searching if it uh, yes it has arrived and uh, if you want to read this message we will write why it is decrypting it and this is the first message yes we have retrieved it now we can go on to test other systems also let's write a message to alice using something else um second uh, subject uh this is a random message and uh, quantum aided a yes let's test that while it's encrypting let's be ready for loading the inbox yes it's sent here now we can, we can check here and yes quantum AES worked and we have received the message yes second subject this is random message so it's working fine and uh, 
all the other systems are also working fine let's check the final system uh, for pop subject uh, this time we are checking the hybrid pqc uh, the message has been sent yes so now we have to check here Uh, message one, uh, which was third, and yes, we have to read it. Yes, uh, the message arrived, and uh, there was the older message which we don't have to read again because we already have read it once. Now let's use the final protocol. Uh, the fourth one. Yes, it has been sent. Let's check if it's arrived or not. Yes, it was arrived. Let's read it. And uh, yes, it was decrypted nicely and we don't have to read the next message. Now we can exit. All of these things are working fine. And uh, good pie from Qmail. It is all working fine in the console. And uh, I'm sure that uh, it is going to work fine in uh, the graphical user interface also. Because all of this is based on REST API which means that it can be incorporated inside uh, the web applications also and other kind of applications also. Right now we are showing everything locally, but all of this is also integrable to uh, uh, in uh, different different email applications like Gmail, Outlook, etc. So this was our demonstration and I hope you liked it. Thank you.